Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be talking about performance clutches. Now if you haven't already watched my video on clutches, you may want to check that out first. That said, it never hurts to see the real thing, so I'm going to kind of review in this video and talk about how a clutch works as well. So just to kind of get your bearings, uh, we've got the engine. The engine's connected uh, ultimately to the crankshaft, which is connected to the flywheel. And connected to that flywheel, we have the pressure plate. Inside of the pressure plate, the diaphragm spring and then the clutch disc here. So that's what we've got drawn here in an oversimplified uh, clutch pedal. Um, and then the throw out bearing which presses on the diaphragm spring. So let's take a look at an actual clutch. So here we have a Yonaka performance clutch for the Acura Integra B-Series motors. Um, and I've got a product link in the description if you'd like to check that out. Um, so anyways, what we've got here is this is the pressure plate, the red painted pressure plate. Uh, in the center we've got the diaphragm spring. So this is what uh, you press on to release the clutch. And this is the bearing that presses on that. So this is the throw out bearing. And basically it can absorb a thrust load and rotate uh, like this. And then it will press on here um, in order to release that pressure plate from the clutch disc. So inside you can see uh, here's a wire ring in the inside and that's basically the fulcrum of this diaphragm spring so as you press in it lifts this uh, pressure plate back and removes it off of the clutch disc. So this will be these holes here are basically where this is going to connect to the flywheel and then inside here you'll have the clutch disc and that's what this will ultimately be pressing up against and pressing this against the flywheel in order to transfer torque. So there's really three main differences uh, between a typical OEM style clutch versus a performance clutch. Uh, one of the first things that's going to change is the clamping force. So the clamping force of this diaphragm spring is going to be much greater on a performance clutch in order to transfer more torque. So if you haven't watched my video on multi-plate clutches, I kind of explain how uh, you can calculate the amount of torque that a uh, clutch can uh, pass through the transmission. So you may want to check that out. Um, but basically this has a 1800 pound pressure plate uh, and that's about 45% more clamping force than the OEM style uh, clutch. So that's going to give you about 45% more torque that you can transfer through it. The second thing that a performance clutch is going to have uh, different from an OEM style clutch is the material of the disc. Uh, so this particular clutch, this Yonaka performance uh, clutch disc, uses a copper ceramic material uh, rather than an organic material like uh, most typical clutches. Um, and basically the reason you're going to use a copper ceramic is that it can absorb a good amount more heat uh, and it maintains its performance at higher temperatures than a uh, typical clutch or an organic type clutch. So you can kind of beat it up a little bit more, you can you know abuse it on a track and it's still going to work unlike an OEM where it might kind of start to disintegrate once it starts to get warmer. And the final thing you're going to look at on a performance clutch is it's going to reduce the surface area of the disc. So you'll see here that it's got these pucks, uh, six of these pucks and different styles will have a different amount. But basically what you're doing is the clamping force will remain the same on this. However, the uh, amount of pressure on each individual puck will increase. So kind of just some rough math here. Um, I just kind of said that these were about uh, two square inches and this is about a square inch here. So overall we've got about 18 square inches um, of area of, if this were to be a full circle uh, clutch disc. So we've got a pressure of 1800 uh, pound force uh, divided by 18, that's our area and that'll give us pressure. So that gives us 100 psi which would be distributed if it were a full circle. Now because they took out these little notches, I'm just going to call that one square inch. So then we've got two square inches for each one of these, so we've got 12 square inches. 1800 uh, pound force divided by the 12 uh, square inches and that gives us 150 psi. So simply by taking out uh, these little sections, we've increased the pressure on each one of these pucks by 50%. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, the reason you want to do that is some materials need a greater psi uh, in order to not slip. So for example, this copper ceramic needs a greater pressure on it so that it doesn't slip uh, when you press on the throttle really hard and you've got a large torque going through it. So that's why you're going to see these pucked uh, designs. Some other things, um, basically this Yonaka performance clutch is rated to about 300 uh, pound-feet of torque and also it's good for about 400 uh, horsepower. Now when you do replace a typical clutch with one of, like this, a performance clutch, uh, you will notice that the engagement is a little more harsh, especially if you're not matching the revs. If you're matching the revs, then it should be perfect, um, but 
If you're not, then you're going to kind of notice it a little bit more. Also, you may notice some chatter at lower RPMs. So when you're at lower RPMs and you're first starting in first gear, uh, the car may vibrate a little bit. So you're going to kind of want to um, do that a little more smoother uh, and kind of have a little bit higher RPMs uh, for things like that. And also there's a 300 to about 500 mile break in. So you're not really going to want to go all out on a performance clutch like this until you've really broken it in well. Um, and then the material's kind of set and you get that maximum clamping force. So thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to check out the links to the Yanaka product in the description below. And feel free to leave any comments or questions you have. Thanks.